How's it going, everybody? Drome here, back, finally, back. Uh, I apologize for the very inconvenience and the lack of videos as of late. Uh, one, I'm back on a busy schedule again, and my family's going on a vacation, and I'm here to do the job alone. So yeah, it's yeah, I, I'm uh, I'm a bitch busy. But in short, I apologize. And then there was another inconvenience where my internet was just acting up super hard. I couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi at all on my laptop or on my switch and then even on a wired connection even on my main PC it wouldn't connect to the internet so after a heated argument we finally got a got it fixed so thank God for that and that's why I'm making this video and the first thing I decided to do was talk about Persona news. As we all know, for some reason, I honestly don't know, so you guys could inform me. Uh, February is the Persona month. It is the Persona news month. This is still continuing the 25th anniversary of the series. And recently, last week, so I'm kind of late on this. So basically last week, Atlas West stated that they are now posting every Persona intro starting on like the 2nd of last week. And it's all going to be leading up to something. Obviously, it's going to be leading up to news. But every week is going to be a Persona intro. Awesome. So right off the bat, people would just think P6. And I don't blame them. Hell, even I think that. Uh, but then, now that my internet came back, I started brainstorming. What are the possibilities that it's something else? So as the tweet says, every week they are going to be posting one intro so after this video gets posted the p2 intro is going to get here and this is where i'm kind of interested because persona 2 innocent sin and eternal punishment are completely different games so obviously eternal punishment is the sequel so we're gonna get this week innocent sin and then like what wednesday the day after uh we're gonna get eternal punishment or are we going to get Innocent Sin this week and Eternal Punishment next week? So what I'm getting at is they're leading up to something. The relaunch of Ultimax happens next month. And if we're going to get an intro every week, is it also counting Persona 4, Arena, and Ultimax's intros? What are the possibilities that it's going to be Persona 5, Arena? Obviously, take this with a super grain of salt. Um, it's not even a rumor. I'm just I'm just jumping to conclusions. Uh, I'm brainstorming. I'm guessing what can be, you know? But I want to be too shocked if it is P5 Arena because if it's leading up to the release of literally the relaunch of Persona 4 Ultimax, they could ride that hype wave onto P5 Arena and then the biggest thing that they could say is BAM! Roll back netcode. That would get so many people hype. There's probably a lot of people out there that don't play fighting games, but I'll tell you guys this. My viewers, a lot of my viewers that I made contact with back in the day, admitted that they played Persona 4 Arena because it was a fighting game, right? It's like, oh, I heard about the Persona series. But thanks to Persona 4 Arena, that became a gateway for that said individual to come and try out the main series. And I think that's really cool. Now, does Persona 5 need that? Hell no. That thing is ungodly successful as an IP. And do they even want to attempt to roll the dice with the fighting game again? I don't know. Let's just be honest. Persona 4 Arena and Ultimax did pretty good, right? Even though YouTube wasn't back in its prime back in the day. But it still did amazing nonetheless. And it still has its hardcore players like Moopoke and stuff. And thanks to the relaunch, we, people are getting ungodly excited, even though, you know, no rollback. But people are excited that they can play their game again without plugging into goddamn PS3 or playing it through emulation. So again, why wouldn't they ride that hype wave towards P5 Arena? I'm all for it. I'm not against it. But that's what I think might happen. But those are the two things, unless they make like a P5 dating simulator or some shit. <laughs> Because I don't know what else they would, what else can they do? They did a Musou game, like the biggest thing ever, right? What else can they do? A visual novel? They already did that with P3P technically. But that's all I wanted to say. There may be something more happening within the set of news. 
I'm excited nonetheless. But tell me what you guys think down below. What do you guys think it really is? Obviously, let's just be honest. 99% of people will definitely say it's going to be P6. Hell, it could be P2 Remake. God, give us P2 Remaster. I'm already super excited that P6 is going to be a thing. Because, uh, well, the writer for 3 to 5 left. He, he is working on Ray Fantasy, which, thank God... Because, as you guys know, I am not a huge fan of P5. I think it is the weakest storytelling Persona game out there. 2 is like two and 3 are fucking top tier. 4 is literally right under. Not bad. I love it. And 1? I haven't played 1, so I can't say much about it. But anyways, I'm not a huge fan of P5. So that is the only reason why I am excited for P6. We got fresh blood coming in to write the story. I hope... They go back under contacts and be like, hey, yo, can we get the writers for P2 and Digital Devil Saga to come through, please? I need to see my girl Maya again, please. But anyways, that's all for me. Again, tell me what you guys think down below. And I will see you guys within the next video.